Hi everyone, Common Viewer here, this time doing another Halloween film review, and this one is on Alvin and the Chipmunks meets the Wolfman. Now, as you know, Alvin and the Chipmunks meet the Wolfman is meant to be a animated horror musical comedy film that is meant to be the second film of the whole Universal Monster films where the Chipmunks would meet up with certain Universal Monsters. Originally, there were plans to do a third one with Dracula that just didn't get off the ground, and is also meant to feature the iconic Wolfman character. So the premise of the film is going to be how Alvin wakes up from his nightmares and kind of suspects that, he, that their new neighbour, Larry Telpot, is hiding something and believes that there is more going on. So, of course, we kind of see how Alvin... Simon and Theodore are doing the whole Jacko and Mr. Hyde play. And of course we kind of see how, how Alvin tries to get in, into the role. And we kind of see how Theodore is kind of a bit more insecure because of his bully Nathan. And I kind of feel the film wanted to kind of make Nathan into a sympathetic character. But it seems like they didn't really want to go with it. And I think this is the reason I think if you have a bully character, you want to make them sympathetic. I think this is the reason why I give Thomas Astruck credit in showing Chloe's life as a bully and at home, which I think does work. So of course we kind of see how, so how Alvin's kind of monster mania, mania fan fetish has gotten out of, out of control. And we kind of see how Dave takes a bit more cautions in kind of banning all things monster related. And I wouldn't, really, and I really wouldn't call Dave a antagonist here. He's just being a concerned and caring father. So of course we kind of see how after Theodore gets bitten by by something, he slowly ends up becoming wolf-like. And we see how Alvin and Simon try to figure out the pieces together and try and save their brother. So I think the film really does a good job in making the film more about Theodore coming over his fears and insecurities. I think his Wolfman persona is meant to bring out his worst traits, his kind of darker alter ego. And this did remind me a bit of Hollow Man with Sebastian Kane, as it was kind of clear Sebastian tried to be something he wasn't, but when given the serum, it brought out the worst in him. And I think having the chipettes in the film in the sidelines work, but I think they could have been added a bit more for the drama. And I also kind of feel with the Wolfman story does work at times. I think they really do build up the mystery of who Larry Talpot is, and if you've watched the films or books, then you know who he's meant to be. I know originally that the Wolfman was meant to have a more darker fate before being changed because, because of course, Ross Baggerson Jr. and that thought it would have been too dark. And like I said, I feel like Nathan in the film who's meant to be the bully, I think they wanted to redeem him, but it does feel a little rushed, like it doesn't really feel earned. And I think that's what made Chloe into a character that worked. You can tell she wants to do good, but because of her social acceptance and approval seeking, we kind of see how she kind of relapses and believes she's doing all this for the right things, even though it was for herself. And I think for the most part, the film really does kind of have a meaning. When you kind of have the chipmunks on, the monster out in you, it's meant to point out how Theodore has become his worst trait and becoming something far worse than he already shouldn't be. And we kind of see that with the song, everything's gonna be alright, it's the chipmunks and chipette saying, everything's alright now, go home, it's all done. And I think it's a shame we never really got to see more with the chipmunks meets the sort of universal monster films, like The Wolfman, Creature from the Black Lagoon, also other Universal monster films. And I think it's a shame that we never really got the, the third film Dracula done, 
And I know there's people on fanfiction.net who shared their own version of it, or ideas on what Meet Dracula would have been like. And I think surprising enough that there's no mention of Meet Frankenstein, which of course kind of implies that, that the whole Alvin the Chipmunks meets the Wolfman and Frankenstein are meant to be like the Simpson episodes of Treehouse of Horror, as they don't kind of have any link with the previous stuff. So I think to me, Alvin and the Chipmunks meet the Wolfman is not bad, but you can tell the writers put a lot more effort into this. So I think it deserves a thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.